that position. And I just love hearing that. I've been such a big proponent of that through my career. And I've worked with people like that where really super talented people. And then also they just are delightful to work with, but also just come in. They know their shit. They do their work. You have a great time and everything moves. And she, that's the one thing she said about you the most. That's so true. Yes. Well, because I know, I'll never forget, we talked about that once, and uh, we ran into each other in Prague, <laughs> of all places, as, uh, as you do when, was... when, you're, when you're up, Gosh. so you're jet-setting around the world. Um, we ran into each other in Prague and went for a drink, and we were talking about exactly that, like what it's like to be in the number one position, and you refer to yourself as the head of department, and I had never heard that phrase before because for those of you who are, who are in this right now who are not in film the head of department is like you, there's every, you know there's a variety of like hair makeup production design whatever it is there's a head of each of those departments the boss in a sense and the number one of course would be the head of department and you don't think of it as as that as i've never thought of it in that term and then when you said it, I was like, of course, that makes so much sense. And it's up to you to kind of set the tone for everyone else. And like, I noticed right away, you never leave set. You never leave set unless you have to go do a change or you're like getting a change. I think that's just like being that. lazy, to be honest. It means more walking. Um, I just have to, if I sit and stay. Or lazy. It turns out she's just, just lazy. lazy. Just yeah. lazy. No, but, but what like, I would say, you would hang right out. Right. And that was huge. But I think that a lot of that is like, there's this bizarre distinction that's made between actors and every other department. And I'm just, I know um, I don't downplay what it can be an incredibly challenging job at, at times. And, um, but so I can everything and I don't understand why it's treated any differently. There's artistry in um, all of the departments. Even I, yeah. I talk about this. It's like, you don't become an accountant for a film and television production, unless you're interested in the arts. Like you become an accountant somewhere else. You've chosen to do that because you have some investment in sharing stories or like right. working in a creative field. So like for everybody, I just think we're all, it can be very taxing. You can be away from your families. Um, it's also incredibly privileged that we get to make art. And I just think like making, making the effort to treat it as, a, as another part of the crew is always like a healthy kind of um, respectful way of doing it. It's, it's right. yeah, quite strange. And I think maybe that's a New Zealand thing. I don't know, but, that if you most, of the, like, most of the New Zealand actors I've worked with have been pretty fucking great. That's, oh, that's, that's nice to hear. But I, I, yeah. I do think when I was growing up working anyway, that back there, that um, if you were a dick, you just didn't get a job. Like, it didn't really matter how good you were. And, and so that's definitely something that I've carried with me is, like, who cares how talented you could be in any given moment if you don't choose to bring that and show up and create an environment where everybody else can do their best work it's yeah. not valuable to a project in the long run. Yeah. So, um, that's, the, that's the way everyone should be. Should yeah, just... and, and yeah, and but that's what you brought that was so beautiful is that attitude where you're like, I don't understand why people go, I drink and I'll, you can go get more. No, that's right. Um, he's looking for orange juice. <laughs> uh, looking for more juice? For more juice. Looking for more juice. He's I out, love my like chocolate, chocolate milk. milk. He's out of chocolate milk. But it makes oh, me a little thirsty. What kind of juice do you, do you like? Orange. Orange, classic orange. I'm not, I'll only have juice like, like twice a year. And when I have it, I need it. It's like, I need, like, wow. today, I need juice. I need juice. Like, my body is crazy. Juice. Like, orange That's juice. Like George it's, is really, um, he has a very kind of good communication between, like, his nutrition and his mind or something. I don't know how right. it works. It but tells him what he like, needs. His, yeah, his body will be like, I need a carrot. And it will have to go stop at a grocery store on the way home to get a carrot. Have Ch meat. challenging times now because sometimes there just is no carrot in the fridge and we just got to roll with it. There's there's no single carrot. Oh, there's a thing. So we, let me take some questions. We, oh, we have so many questions. people and they so keep talking. Questions can you see you. the question in front of you? I can. Let me just um turn the music off in the background. I've been quite oh, right. like, um, chill jams and I'm just gonna get rid of them. One second. <laughs> Alba, let's go to sleep, guys. I'm gonna take my fast face mask off. I'll get you some orange juice. Wait, Setchin wants to know if you need juice. Yeah, Setchin wants to know if he should get you some juice. Two months off, you should get some juice? This, so this question from okay. Ariana Papa. Mm -hmm. 
This seems to be a recurring, recurring one because you on Die Zombie. First of all, what a great show, but also the coolest part because you got to play different characters every week, and like take transform into that. So basically, you were playing. I mean, I don't know how many characters you would have guessed you played over. Well, how, how many episodes were there? How many seasons did you do? We did five seasons of between. Oh, you did four seasons of thirteen and one season of nineteen. My I'll tell season. you real quick. So you did. One season we did eighteen episodes, eighteen or nineteen. Mm -hmm. So what was your favorite? Uh, character that you got to kind of, or a few of them, and then maybe that would be what episode you really loved. Yeah, it's it's tricky because it's like choosing your favorite child a little bit. Like all the yeah. writers have so much time into like making them up. I feel like if I go, it was this one, then I'd burn all the others. But if you took well, some of the ones that were I, really fun to do or difficult or interesting. I loved my favorite for different reasons. My favorite one. The, fun, the most fun day I ever had on set was when we filmed Dungeons & Dragons Brain and I was Dungeon Master. And it was because we had the whole cast at the table, like, I mean, of the regulars, and everybody was just laughing and one-upping each other on how ridiculous you can go. You could push it so far. They all got to be characters too. Um, right. Was cool. that, that was just, like, the most I've ever laughed on set. And then um, I also really enjoyed salsa dancing because I... I literally was thinking salsa dancing. I remember watching that and being like, because you guys, how long did you practice to do the salsa dancing? Well, that was the funny thing about the show because we would be shooting the whole time. So um, I'd get given a brain for next week and, or, you know, that one they gave me, I think three weeks heads up, but I couldn't like just spend a week learning because I'd be on set. Right. So we would just do sort of at lunch times or in the evenings and um, the, kind of, I used to dance when I was a kid, like when I, I did ballet when I was a child. And and that part of me was like, oh, I wish I could have really nailed the dancing a little bit stronger. Um, but I feel like given it was just doing stuff in the evenings and uh, it, it was great fun. Raul did such a good job. He had not danced at all. Yeah, he's, your cast was so great. Such a, such a cool... I love the cast so much. I really miss them. I really, really miss them. It was Ali's birthday yesterday. Who plays I saw that. Mm-hmm. Um, quarantine birthday. Where are your birthdays? Oh my god! I had to quickly go and get. Don't mind her. <laughs> She's just gonna eat and get bossed up. Yeah. Mine is in June. Jess's is in December. Right. Okay. Yours just is wondering... October tenth. October tenth. That's right. I was wondering if we'll still be um what the status might be for your birthdays, but you're both. I think I think we'll I'm see. probably. You might be... Mine's gonna be close. You might be in. Yeah. I think um, we'll so... have like a version of it. You know, we'll have um, limited, well, something, it'll definitely still be we'll weird. We'll just do it. It'll be a lot of <laughs> FaceTimes. There's this yeah. great video online of a, a kid, and I think it's the UK, and it's her, her birthday, and she can't celebrate it. So she walked out of her house, oh. Oh. and the whole neighborhood is singing happy birthday for her. And, like, you know, there's, nice. there's so many, the silver yeah. lining of this is all the wonderful unplanned moments, the natural yeah. hum, um, humanitarian things that are happening that are just, you know, and because of social media, everything can be recorded. Instead of all the bad stuff that's constantly weighing you down, totally. you can go through and just watch really great videos oh and be like... Like Upworthy? Do you follow Upworthy? Or Tanks Good News? That's another Tanks Good News. Rex yeah. Chapman on Twitter is fantastic. I love those. Like the guy, I was thinking of the little girl who couldn't go to Disneyland, and so her dad put her in a washing basket and creates the like roller coaster. Uh, and it's just like there is there is great great stuff going on in people. There's also it's nice. more of the good things are like a recognition on how much of how much we depend on each other. Like that we yeah. need we can't do these things by ourselves. Like we need community and. And a, the biggest and most touching part of the entire thing to me is finally recognizing things like the medical workers, the grocery store workers, I mean, the janitors. I couldn't even imagine. Keeping us alive right now. Yeah. So, Let me see. Well, we like, went to, we got groceries today and it was just like the reminder of like thanking the person that yeah. was helping us. Just like not only because they were helping that, but like from being there and doing this, and like putting, putting their like, safety at risk for yeah. us. Like I feel like there should be tip jars. My big thing is I think there should be tip jars at grocery. Um, I've seen that. Yeah. Right now. Are there 
Uh, no, no, I've seen people talking about it. I haven't seen an actual... Because I think the tricky thing is the hygiene. They're trying to just use cards and stuff, putting money. I get that. But maybe, it, like, the money goes in and they don't touch it for a while, but then that could be a bonus. Right, yeah, there's so, many, right. there's so many ins and outs. But, like, there should be some amazing, um, I don't know, bonus or some way of recognizing these people afterwards. Besides, the thank yous mean a lot, and that's great. But they have, like... <laughs> They've done everything. <laughs> oh, it's it's insane. It's insane. And like we're scared to leave the house. And yeah, yeah these people, you know, that that yeah. have to be doing this are they're doing that for us. It's yeah. yeah. No, as I sit here look, with my like, fake glass of wine and my Cheetos. And I'm like, my life is so pretty. It's so tough right now for us. So tough. Oh, right, here's <laughs> one. Um Yeah, we got tons of questions. You got a lot a lot of people like you. Yeah, it seems oh. like people dig you. They just don't know me. <laughs> That's right. Do you, uh, you did, do you have a dream, do you have a role, a dream role, something you'd really like to play or something to, like a challenge that you feel like a role that you want to try and do or? It had been for ages while I had, since I moved to the States, which is almost 10 years ago now, I hadn't done a play for a very long time. And I did a play at the end of last year. And that was a little bit of like, I was going to say a check off the list, but it sounded too much like a check off, and it wasn't a check off. Right. Um, it was, a check. It was, was that like, the Andy Garcia? I did this play called Pete Andy Garcia wrote it, uh, it, he adapted it um, with Guy Jeffrey Hatcher from this play in the 30s and a film in the 40s. But it was really great, like so, so meaningful to do that again. And so I would like to be, I've thought about that. I really want to do a play this year with a dear friend of mine in New Zealand that I don't want to say I'm going to do yet. I don't want to announce that because I'm not sure what my schedule is, but I would love to do that. Um, also, I don't know if people will be seeing plays for a while. You just but, don't know when it's going to, yeah. Yeah, but I but I really, I think um, there is something so, I, I don't know, how much theater have you guys done? I don't know, I don't know how it'll start. First of all, let me say hi to Jesse Hodges. Hi, Jesse. Wait, is Jesse there? Yeah, Jesse Hodges. Jay Ho. You know Jesse? I love Jesse. Jesse is fucking funny. Okay. You don't know Jesse. Jesse I, is friends with Alex and Dan. I did a television show a bunch of years ago called Big Time in Hollywood, Florida. With Alex. And with Alex and Fick. Oh, yeah. you also know Britannica. Yeah, yeah. I know right, you've been in one of their videos. Uh, with Jesse. Yeah, so we did We did a show, uh, Alex and Finger, who you know. And Jesse was, remember in the, the rehab, the girl comes up when I'm peeing and she stands real close yeah. to me and then has the thing. She's hilarious. Yeah, yeah she's amazing. Jesse, oh. Jesse she's Hodges. Very funny. Have you seen her short film? Have you seen? Her short film that she wrote? No. With a friend? Oh my God, you got to see it. I hope she's Maybe still watching. Maybe we have to have Jesse Hodges get on to the see show. your short film that you directed? Oh, I'll send it to you. I just am a little bit shy. <laughs> Wait, I'm shy. We're going to watch you and be like, yeah, it's gonna be ridiculous. No, it, it was um, it, I had a really good time making it. I'm really proud of it. It's it's like a, 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 there's something. I think what I'm shy about more is the writing than the directing. Um, just it's. Did you write it? Yeah, yeah. So it feels a little. That like I can't nothing, do. That I can't. Nothing do. to hide behind, you know. But, um, yeah. you can't be like, oh, well, I was working with that person's thing. It's like, no, I really tried and put myself out there. That kind of feeling. Um, right, right, right. but it was it was some. Um, it was really cool. I love doing it. I want to do more. Yeah. Yeah. Do you direct Lenny at all or just your killer wife? No, I mean, I, I've always, I directed, I used to do sketch comedy when I first started acting. So I directed some of that. I'm, I'm, I'm more of a small writer. Like I can, I'm better at watching something and being like, oh, let's just try this or this. So I would be probably, and then after watching her direct and the way her mind works for it, I don't think it's my thing. Mm -hmm. I think I'm good at like adding on to it or, or, you know, I guess it would be a type of producing. Right. Right. You're, and you're good with creative stuff. Like you, he came to set when I was directing um, one day with my, my father-in-law was with him and, and there was a few things he, oh, thank you. He just wrote butts on my foot and pen. And pen so yeah, that's great. He wrote what? Um, Butts. butts. I just wrote butts across my foot and pen, just for like later. Bums. Yeah, like bums. No, butts. Like, it's always butts. butts. Everything's butts. butts. Over here. Um, but he came to set, and like there was a few times he was like, they should do this. Or like came up to me and said, and I was like, back off. 
like, I'm in the middle of directing right now. I'm very busy. And then I think about it, and I was like, oh, he's right. They should do that. Yeah. And, like, went in and then, like, gave the note. Like, he's got a really good creative eye for those 